Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is I, KCB, returning once more. And uh, since I recently discovered that we have an ascended Marita and not Rhea, which is really nice for me, because we can probably just spark Marita if need be, and then move about our merry way. This gives me the ability to once again try and spark or legendary Ike. I know what you're thinking, Brian. Ike, what's the deal, man? Uh, well, I will, I will tell you. Ike, and I have a bit of a sordid past. In that, uh, he never shows up to that. Oh, I guess it would help if I spelled it properly, like you do. Uh, he never really seems to show up. But by God, we'll get there someday. <laughs> It's been years, literal years of me trying to get him uh, merged up. And also Azura, I think we're we're probably pretty close on Azura too. Uh, I think she's at like six, maybe. But honestly, you know, Azura has so many good. Yeah, she's a plus six. She has so many good alts that it doesn't really matter. Uh, it, why why would you plus ten in Azura? Because you like her, I guess. <laughs> me and uh, me and Azura. That's that's the the Fates Lord I like. Uh, but anyway, since since there's options here, and of course the, the the downside to not getting a potential Azura is just a Brave Erica. Oh darn! I wonder whatever I will do with a Brave Erica. Merge fodder, you name it. Uh, she has it all. She is a superstar. Uh, so there's really no downside. Marth. I don't know that I have a lot of uses for Marth at this point. I think I've kind of, uh, I've kind of cracked all the eggs I need to in terms of his fodder. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get. So we're just gonna, we're gonna hop on in here. And, uh, hopefully this won't be painful. And hopefully it will be good and not bad. And, uh, we'll, we'll have just a, a jolly old time. Maybe. No. I was, uh, yeah, I was talking to Berica, and then here you are. There's a lot of greens here. I hope it stays that way for Hero Rises. I, so I've taken a bit of criticism lately, uh, about the Hero, my, my feelings on the all green Hero Rises banner. Um, I'm just gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I, I I hope it I hope it does do nicely. I I hope in fact I don't get boned going for just green orbs. I hope that is true. Okay, or stones, not orbs. Uh yeah, I, I, I don't I don't want bad luck. I hope I have good luck. I know what statistically the odds are. I'm not I'm not ignoring the numbers, okay? I'm just telling you. I get boned a lot, and a lot of people uh, do too, and so I hope that that does not happen. Um, and it just seems like there's a lot of promising going around, they're like, oh, you're gonna get a focus every, like, 20-some orbs that you burn on green stones, heh, <laughs> cool. Uh, and I, I just, I don't know, like, that's, statistically, if you, if you burned, like, a thousand orbs, you would probably be close to that kind of, you know, uh, that's how bell curves work, right? Uh, you'd probably be close to that average. I think it's like 20, 22, 29, some, something like that. Um, where if you burn that and you get a five star. I, I hope that that's the case. And I hope that people have a lot of luck and good positive results. Uh, and that no one is salty. That's what I will say. Well, I hope it goes well. Uh, we will be summoning on that banner as kind of a little experiment. And I know that there are summoning, um, like, simulators. Yeah. I don't know why I phrased that like a question. That's definitely what they're called. <laughs> uh, I know they have summoned simula simulators. But uh, I did, you know, Azura got in, and I, I kind of I kind of wanted more Azuras. I was low-key hoping that Dogger got in. But I was just wishful thinking. As soon as she got paired up against Corn, it was just wishful thinking, man. Um, so we will we will summon on that. I'm assuming this video comes out before that. 
I, w I mean, I would hope, right? I would hope that that's the case. So, uh, we'll do a little experiment uh, with with that whole situation and uh, see where we're at from there. But um, I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably take it to Spark. But I kind of want to I kind of want to do it in a way where uh, I'm I'm like running all the statistics that I want to, and then I'm able to break down like what my luck actually reflected by number. So like I I actually got a focus hero every X many orbs or something like that. You know what I mean? I want to be able to break that down. So it's gonna take a little more effort. So, uh, I don't know when that video will come out. This is probably going to be a little more edit intensive, which is not something I'm a huge fan of because I have to do all that myself and find the time to do it. But, uh, you know, it's, I, th I think it will be neat if I do it that way. So that's, that's kind of my plan. Um, whether or not I end up doing that, well, that's up to me. <laughs> And honestly, it could, it could just come down to how I'm feeling that day. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I may just be like, nope, not about this today. And then just move all, move, move right along. Uh, these are blues. I kind of want to start summoning the green, but like I don't need any Gunthras. That's the sad part. I don't need any Gunthras. Does Gunther have good fodder? I feel like she has a solo skill. And, 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 and nothing else. Right? Am I crazy? Am... <laughs> I think she just has a solo skill, right? I'm not crazy. Getting a gatekeeper might be nice, I guess, for close reversal. That could be kind of handy. Is it worth it? Well, that's another question, I'm afraid. And I don't know that I will answer. This is, this is, in fact, the great red and blue Summon Palooza uh, Part 2 that you may or may not have been waiting for. Another Ferdinand, eh? Interesting. Double Ferdy. All right, we're going to back out. Should I be summoning green is the question. No. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, getting attack res solo versus close reversal... Not really worth it I don't think I'm I'm happy with my odds here uh, and and that is right where I want to be I'm gonna be honest I'm, I'm happy where I'm at I should really work on C that I do want to build up a plus 10 C that that would be kind of cool there's just so much so much uh, promoting that I have to do I'm on this path I don't know if you're aware um, but I have taken I have taken up a new leave in Fire Emblem Heroes, and uh, basically what I'm trying to do now is for every unit that I have, I am trying to level them up to 40 at 5-star rarity and have at least their base kit learned, which isn't really that difficult because, you know, with, through leveling naturally, you're going to give enough SP to do that. Um, but sometimes I do a little skill inheritance, you know, it never hurts to have a little quick repose two or a fury three on somebody it's always kind of handy you know what i mean so um that's that's kind of what i'm doing now and then i also i also have to s support summon support with them which is much harder actually with just like a base kit from a lot of book one units it's not easy even with book three units keeping like Keeping it a buck. It's hard with, with book three units, even. Uh, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of succeeding. I'm kind of killing it. Uh, wow, this is going really bad. <laughs> this, is, this is going very poorly. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is not going well for us. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at now. That's that's my plan. So I have been having to burn like twenty thousand feathers. Uh, every couple days as I as I promote these like four star uh, GHBs or Tempest or not well not really Tempest trials GHBs or like four star focuses when those were a thing and 
boy, it is just... Maybe it's calling out to me. Maybe I should pull Colorless here. Maybe I should. If I break rate... Ooh, like that. Like that. Uh, we'll pull Colorless, sure. It's getting me to, from A to B to C much faster. And that's all I'm really thinking about at the moment. And I can live with that. I can live with that. Doesn't even matter. Alright, let's just, you know what? Let's just counterclockwise this bad boy. Let's just, let's just take it. Let's just go all the way. Robin. No. Not who I want to. Did we really get to 8% just to get an Azura? That cannot possibly be my fate. Okay, maybe it is. Plus seven Azura, though. Not that it matters. <laughs> Not that it really matters. I mean, we're, we're mostly just going for Ikes. A plus ten Azura down the road. That's icing on cakes, man. That's that's not uh, it's not really what I'm after. I'm mostly just here for the Ikes. But uh, the last remix banners that he has been on, I have had to spark for him. And it has not gone well. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's kind of nice that he and Gunther are, are sharing. I think they were the last time or the time before that, too. But we've already achieved our Gunther dreams, so it doesn't really matter. I guess, well, we're, we're four into uh, a pity rate increase already, so that's kind of nice. We're making our way up. Kind of kind of cool. <gasps> He's here! <gasps> he heard me talking, and he was like, I'll come save you. I don't know why that would be his voice. That's obviously not how he sounds. But he's here, and that's what matters. Yay. Okay. Why do I want a legendary Ike? Ooh, Speedy. <laughs> speedy Ike. Hey. Why do I want him? I don't know, man. Why is he A-ranked with... I don't know. <laughs> I don't... You think I have answers? I don't have answers. Viewer? <laughs> I almost called you a chatter, and that's not true, because we're not live at the moment. Sometimes I have a little overlap. Sometimes there's a little spillage from uh, VOD to live, and I have to accommodate appropriately. Uh, I guess that means we're just back to square one then. But we got an Ike, and that's cool. So we're up to plus six, no, seven, six is where I think that we are at now. So no matter how it goes, we're walking out of here with a plus seven Ike, because we will spark for Ike. Undoubtedly, we will spark for Ike. I have had to do it the last couple times. It's fine. I know what I'm getting myself into. Look, I go, I go to the rope for Ike, okay? Like, I push the limits for my man, Roshea. Wish your Lance was better. I'd give it to a lot more units if, if that were the case. Tragically, it is not. Maybe we get more Azuras. Somewhere a universe exists that this is an Azura. Crazy, right? But uh, not this one, evidently. I'm not in the chosen universe. Unless it was secretly just this one the entire time? Yeah. Literally same universe. Same outcome, same universe, same, same whole shtick. We are, <laughs> we are living in a society. Uh, boy. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of red. That's a lot of red. It's a lot of Ike's. Ike? Yeah. It's a Ike? Ike? Buddy? No. We're getting closer. Sort of. Ike? Buddy? Okay, we're, we're going backwards now. We're just, now we're just, now we're just mocking me. That's no fun. Uh, what are you guys most excited for this month? There's been a lot that has been announced. Uh, we're almost at the end of the month at this point. Um, halfway through at least. 
I gotta figure out what I'm doing for the legendary prediction. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know what we're after here. Um, I think it's probably an Earth legendary. Not that that really makes a big difference. But maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably an Earth legendary. I don't know who it's going to be. Um, <laughs> My default guess of Sita is over, <laughs> so uh, I'm not really sure who to just spam guesses at anymore. Maybe I just won't guess. Maybe I will just guess the color, and then that will be my victory lap if I get that right. I feel like color is kind of easy to guess, though. Like, I, you at home, watching, or wherever you are, dear viewer, you watching, I bet if you've seen enough of my Hero Tracker videos, you can guess which color the new Legendary or Mythic is going to be. Uh, once you once you look at the visuals enough, uh, it all becomes pretty darn clear for the most part. It's uh, it's not too hard to figure out. Sometimes they throw you a curveball, but they're like, you know, like it could not possibly be green, and then it's literally two greens, <laughs> and then you're like, oh. Okay. Yeah, totally. I'm glad. Glad I was wrong. Uh, sometimes there actually are times I'm glad that I'm wrong. Not the last time, though. Last time I got robbed. Straight up robbed. Just... Absolutely shystered is, is what happened to me. Can we get an Azura? This is our 40th summon. Uh, we're about to We're about to spark an Ike. Clearly we didn't get another one. Roche, another Roche. Oh my god, it was another Roche. Mm. I'm psyched. I can see things that others cannot. Oh, also, why am I getting so many Roche? You know, sometimes it's a gift. Honestly, it's just a gift to be able to see the things that I'm about to summon. Uh, and I predict that I'm about to summon another legendary Ike. I've earned it. Now I'm sitting in an entire percentage rate up. But honestly, that rate up is is genuinely not worth trying to trying to break, I don't think. Uh yeah, it's it's not enough. For like what, 20 summons in? To get seven and a half or eight? I think ten I think five summons in is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right? I think that's right. Anyway, I got my eggs. I'm happy, I guess. Uh, I think we're... I think we're sitting at plus seven for both Azura and Ike now. Which is kind of cool. Uh, I think they're coming back on the same... Banner? Maybe? I have a hero tracker for that. I don't have to guess. I, I literally make a chart for this. Um, but I, I don't think I've updated it yet. No, because this is still here. I haven't updated this. Uh, I will have their update out. I think what I want to start doing is an update to the Remix banners and the Legendary Mythic banners. So some months there will be two Hero Tracker videos. I'm not really sure when these guys are coming back. I guess I could look real quick. Um, and if you at home are like, how does he predict that? It must be magic. Uh, it's it's literally in the events. I just make sure I write it all down and keep it tabulated. Uh, November. And they are back on the same banner. And I think that is going to be Alm's uh, remix as well. Where he is, in fact, the focal point. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it, it's unfortunate that it's November. Because November is a very orb-heavy month. So there's there's usually a really good double special. Uh, there is usually ninjas. I assume that there's still going to be ninjas. It's hot off the trails of uh, of Halloween. Um, you know, winter units are about to cut. Like it's not, just November's not a good time to, <laughs> to summon. Uh, but I guess November doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Because I've been doing daily uploads for like almost six months. Oh, huh. interesting. 
Well, anyway, we'll worry about that in November. That's actually my birthday month. So that would be a nice little surprise for me if I could somehow... Uh, <laughs> plus 10, Vanguard Ike, finally. Um, but hey, that's... Uh, that's 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 some other time uh members thank you members by the way appreciate you i think i don't know if i said thank you earlier in the video uh but if if i did not uh i put the card up anyway and just know that i appreciate and thank you so much uh for for showing a little extra support a little extra love on the side you know not to be parasocial that's not what that meant uh but yeah i appreciate your support and thank you and uh poggers Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe. Come back for more. And until then, I will catch you next time.